Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Plays Phoenix Wright Justice for All. Today, well I guess we're gonna do a bit of exploring, never mind. I was gonna say, I'm not sure what we actually have to do because we just finished with Adrian and then, well, I guess we gather all we can. Yeah, well I think we've gathered all we can. W what about Mystic Maya? Is she alright? Oh, Pearls. She looks so worn out by all this. She hasn't slept at all and has been walking around all over the place with me today. Kind of like it was irresponsible of me of dragging this eight-year-old with me around. Uh, what's wrong, Mr. Nick? Uh, let's go back to the office for a little while. You're really tired, right? Oh, no. I'm okay, really. I'm fine. I really am. You don't look fine to me. She looks exactly the same as she always does. The music stops. This is kind of eerie. But I guess we're going back to the office? Hi, dog. How's it going? See you later. See, oh my god, you're so weird. So, what now? Well, we did find one thing out of, out for sure. Ms. Andrews has a motive. You mean Ms. Impact's suicide note? That's right. She was also the one to discover the victim's body. Clever. Beep beep. Ah, Mr. Nick, the transceiver! Hello? Uh, White and Kill Law Offices. It's not our cell phone, dog. Mr. Attorney, you're not answering a phone. <laughs> Maya! Where's Maya? As I promised, I have not gone within a few feet of her this whole time. What if she needs to use the bathroom, dog? Are you feeding her? Man, it, that's gonna be disgusting if you're not, like, bringing her to the bathroom, like, to use the bathroom, man. That's it's gonna be nasty, because I'm pretty sure this is a... Well, I was gonna say this could take a few days, because it normally does, right? But you want an acquittal on day one, and we have had an... A, relatively long investigation so I'm assuming the, the trial is gonna be really long and maybe to the conclusion Ugh. which is why I suppose she's absolutely f I suppose she's absolutely famished yes w what so I suggest you win a quick acquittal my friend at any cost wouldn't you agree wait Maya let me hear her. very well ask my Maya is that you Sis! Ask my sis! Beep. Maya! Maya! Damn it! He cut me off! Mystic Maya said ask my sis, didn't she? Sis? What does she mean by that? Her sister's dead! Come on, Phoenix. <sighs> You're a hopeless one. Um, sorry. Ah! Mia! I have a message from Maya, so come, ask me anything you want about her. Uh, okay, you don't have to look angry at me. I'm not the one that got her kidnapped, I think. Well, okay. I mean, her association with me is the reason she got kidnapped. Sure, well, I guess maybe it's my fault a little bit. But my situation. How's Maya? She's safe for now. That kidnapper is the one who was one to keep his word, it seems. I'm glad to hear she's safe, but M Mia, how did you know? As soon as she was locked up, Maya called for me. I read the note she left. Then I gathered as much information about her surroundings as I could. Wait, is, is she not tied up? Maybe there's a bathroom in, like, whatever. She's, like, in a storage room, isn't she? From what we saw? I didn't know you could use spirit channel like that. Pretty smart of her. I mean, yeah, I guess. Uh, the kidnapper. The kidnapper! What's he like? I don't know. Apparently, Maya went to answer a phone call at the hotel and was drugged there. And? She didn't see the face of her attacker. Ah, uh, it's, it's the, the Stitch Boy. Maya is locked up in a very dark place right now. I'll tell you everything I heard when I was with her. When you were... when you were with her? Oh, flashback? Yeah, this is like a wine cellar. <sighs> I'm starving! I could really go for some apple pie. I mean, at times like this, sweets are the only way to go. I have to stay positive. He promised he wasn't going to kill me. Now I'm not going to die. Sis, I wonder if you're with Nick right now. Oh, uh... Here? Playing as Maya. There's all sorts of things piled up here. But it's too dark to see. No, one sec second. We'll check that note out in a second. What's this? Feels like there's a lot of glass bottles here. And these, they feel like barrels. Are we in Donkey Kong? 
guess not. Boxes? Okay, note. Ah, someone dropped a co oh, Okay. This is the car that uh, Adrian had. Someone dropped a card here. Kind of looks like a business card, but there's no name on it. Huh. It's a picture of a sea cell, I think. What a strange card. Okay, so she had that card. She said she didn't know where she got it from, right? Dread, it's locked. I mean, that would be pretty hilarious if it wasn't. But this door lock seems pretty easy to open. On TV, the hero, hero always uses a plastic card or a stiff piece of cardboard. Then click, the magi they magically open the door. I wonder if there's a card around like that that I could use. Ah, that's it! The shell card! If I use this, maybe I can get the door open. This might be my key out of here. I had a feeling this card might be useful. I'm such a genius! All right, now if you'll excuse me, Mr. Kidnapper. Click. I did it! Okay, now I'm getting the heck out of here. I should, shouldn't keep Nick waiting or worried. To be continued. What? Wait, was that, was that Mia telling us that? Or was that actually like Maya escaping? I actually don't know. <laughs> was that, yeah. Okay, I thought that was like Mia explaining what she saw through like what Maya told her. But that was just Maya escaping? I guess? <laughs> Adrian did it? That's what it looks like. Dude, no way. That woman couldn't do anything like that. In court today, there will be a mountain of evidence that will implicate you. A mountain of evidence? I'm certain there is someone out there trying very hard to pin this whole thing on you. Please, Mr. Lawyer. Dude, like I said yesterday, I'm a refreshing spring, of bre uh, spring breeze, right? I can't let any sort of scandal ruin that. I understand. Oh, well, it's almost time. Oh, hi. Mia. Must get to a complete acquittal today. I know. But I can't focus on my situation right now. Or pearls, either. No matter what, I, I have to focus on winning this case by the end of the day. Indeed, let's get going. Beep, beep, beep. It's him. This is this is right. Good morning. This is Mr. Attorney. Oh, this is it, Mr. Attorney. The day of the trial. Maya, she's unharmed, right? Well, when I checked on her earlier this morning, she seemed a bit, how shall we say, tired. Don't worry, people don't die that easily. Well, people die easily enough. Besides, what you really should be concentrating on is winning today's trial. Grr. For my sake as well as yours, you must win today's trial. Which is why I sent you a little present this morning. Present? What in the world would you give want to give me? You'll figure it out once the trial starts, and even if you don't like my gift, I expect you to graciously accept it and win the day's contest, if you please. Wait! Beep. The kidnapper sent me a present. Oh, I hope it's a Nintendo Switch. This the lawyer did? Who was that? Um, no one. It has nothing to do with you. So forget what you heard. Dude, did your nose just get longer? Yes? What? No prosecution? Court's adjourned! Court is now in session for the trial of Matt and God. Are the prosecution and defense ready? The defense is ready, Your Honor. Dots? I say, Mr. Wright, what happened to Ms. Von Kammer? I'm not her keeper! I don't know, Your Honor. Why are you getting mad at me? Uh, Your Honor! Uh, please be quiet, Bailiff. Court is in session. If you must tell me something, please keep it brief. Now then, what is it? Prosecutor! Prosecutor Von Kammer has! Uh, this morning, Ms. Von Kammer was shot by an unknown gunman! What? What? Wait, shot? Yo! Wait, is my present Von Kammer being shot? That is the best gift in the world! So I win, right? Somehow, I think this is the present the man was talking about. I know, I gotta get him a thank you card! His present? Ms. Von Kammer is one of the top prosecutors in the country at the moment. If, yeah, 
one of the top prosecutors who's lost every single case against me so far. If she were to disappear, it would be to your advantage. The, the, this is totally insane. Miss Von Kamer, is she all right? Please say no. I don't have an answer to that. She's alive and stable. This is question mark. Uh, edgy boy? That's good. Phew. Yo, yo. I thought he'd show up. Your Honor, due to the circumstances, Miss Frank uh, Franziska von Kammer cannot appear in court today. I, Miles Edgeworth Powers, will be taking her place. The prosecution is ready, naturally. Can you just do that? After you resign from your position of prosecutor, can you actually just go back to filling in for one? Wouldn't that, wouldn't that like, make your license invalid at that point? I don't know how any of that stuff works, but it sounds right in my head. Ms. Von Kama was shot in the right shoulder and is currently undergoing surgery. Luckily, I have looked this case over and am familiar with the details. The prosecution seeks to prove the guilt of Mr. Matt and God. The court acknowledges the prosecution. Right. I finally found the answer I was struggling for on my long journey this past year. By the time this case comes to an end, you too will know the answer. Dots? Now then, the prosecution would like to call its first witness. Please bring Detective Gumshoe to the witness stand. Witness, your name and occupation. My name is Dick Gumshoe, sir! I'm a detective down on the pre at the precinct, for now. <laughs> for now? After this trial's over, I'm supposed to, to turn in my badge, sir, sir. What the fuck? Why? Detective Gumshoe? The prosecution has no need for a depressed witness. But you're gonna get one! Lift your head up and face forward like a proud officer, Detective Gumshoe. Yes, sir! I mean, dude, I'd hire you as, like, my own personal detective. For, for a very low price. I like Phoenix. I wouldn't actually hire you in real life, because you do kind of seem like a fuck-up. But Phoenix would hire you, and he would pay you a minimum salary. But I wouldn't reduce it if you screwed up. That much, baby. I don't know. If you keep doing a lot, I might have to fire you, but no, hopefully not. Now, let's hear, have your testimony. If you want to explore the various facets of this case, we must start with that. Get ready, Phoenix. This is going to be a, one very tough fight. A rough fight? Yeah, it would have to be with Edgeworth as my opponent, even though I have crushed him every single time. The answer he, has, he was struggling for. Interesting. Show me this answer you finally found, Edgeworth. Bare facts of the case. The murder happened after the Hero Hero Awards ceremony, sir. The victim, Juan Carita, was found dead in his hotel room. After looking into the cause of death, we believe he was definitely murdered, sir. At first, we thought there was something suspicious about the empty guitar case. However, we later found out that the car case had nothing to do with the murder. Okay, but where's the guitar? Couldn't it have been a theft, though? Hmm. After the award ceremony ended, the victim was alone in his room. Yes, sir! Both the victim and the defendant went alone to their room, sir! I see. Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. Alright, so I'm not- Oh, man, my health, that's right. <laughs> I forgot that... Uh, we uh, took a bit of damage during the unlocks earlier. Can you please give us a brief timeline of what happened after the ceremony? Okay, pal! The ceremony started at 6 p.m. and then around 8 p.m. And then there was a short break. The special post-ceremony show was supposed to start at the, in the lobby 30 minutes later. And that's when the victim's body was found, correct? Which is to say the murder occurred during that 30-minute period. Uh, 30 minute break period. Mm, please continue. The person who discovered the victim's body was Adrian Andrews, correct? Yeah! Who's Adrian Andrews? You're t who's this Adrian Andrews you're talking about? She's the defendant, Madam Guard's manager! She's a pretty, really pretty lady, sir! That's... Okay. <laughs> I don't really have anything to do with the... <laughs> do with the case, but sure. Ah, so she's a pretty lady. I wonder if, she'll gra if she will grace us with her presence. <laughs> okay. When the post ceremony show was about to start, went to the went to get Mr. She went to get Mr. Engard. 
At the visitor's room, she went next one to the victim's room to get him for the show, sir. I see, and that's when she found the victim's body. Uh, the cause of death, wasn't that because Mr. Korea was stabbed in the chest? Uh, only a careless amateur would believe something so brainless as, as that, pal! Take a, take a look! G uh, take a good hard look at the crime photo! Now, a real pro's attention will be drawn here, to the bandana! Hmm, ban banana. <laughs> uh, his bandana, sir! This thing wrapped tightly around his neck, sir! Ah, yes, yes, banana. I like bananas. His banana scented banana bandana. <laughs> and what about the knife? It seems to be stuck in the victim's chest on purpose after his death. I mean, yeah. There's just absolutely no way that butter knife could kill him stabbed in his left side. Unless he was stabbed there and then didn't clean out the wound and left it like open the fester for like a week and then it became infected and gave him like freaking I don't know, like septus blood or something like that. Is that what it's called? You get septus, like disease in your blood? I have no idea. There's no way you would die immediately from that. Unless it had poison on it, maybe. Hmm. We have a crafty murderer on our hands. Really? Oh, autopsy report was added. Great. For some reason, I, didn't, I thought we already had that. But uh, I figured it would have been updated, though, if that was the case. But no, it was just added. Oh, we had suicide reports, right. And why did you think that? Because it was empty, pal! The jamming ninja doesn't go anywhere without his bright red guitar! And we couldn't find it anywhere at the scene of the crime! Oh, then how about this theory? A fan really wanted the guitar and did the crime to get it. How's that? Um, we thought of that, too, but... But... The only fingerprints on the guitar were the victims! Only the victims, huh? Hmm, I see. So much for my theory, then. Empty guitar case. What convinced you it had nothing to do with the case? The car wasn't at the uh, Gatewater Hotel that night! Well then, where was it? The bright red car was eventually found at the TV studio! The victim, Juan Carita, had apparently only taken the case with him, sir! Which is weird, why? So you mean he forgot to put his guitar inside of it? Yes sir! Even when he was on stage for the ceremony, he didn't have his guitar! So the guitar case was empty even before he got to the hotel. Well, it's not like I've never forgotten anything, but I feel like that would be very important to have. Yeah, that's right! And so it's really had nothing to do with the case at all! Hmm... I believe that is enough. First, the victim was choked to death with his bandana. Then, after the victim was dead, the killer deliberately stabbed him with a knife. Which brings me to my next point. Why, then, did the police arrest Matt on guard? Because there was a reason... Because there was reason enough to suspect him. Here it comes. Looks like Edgeworth back in full swing. Very well, Detective Gumshoe. Please testify to that matter. Yes, sir! Why arrest on guard? Well, you found the button in his thing, right? Matt on guard and Juan Carita were huge rivals with each other. They even, they each thought the other guy was in his way, and that motive was not in my book. As for evidence, there's the jamming ninja's button. It was ripped off the ninja's costume and was found in Mr. Ungard's Hakama. Hakama? Hakuna Hakama. What the hell does that mean? I actually don't know what a Hakama is. Time for Googling with Kronos. Kinda looks like, the first person looks like a shrine maiden outfit. Original Japanese clothing, that's it. Hmm. Oh, originally stemming from the trousers worn by members of the Chinese Imperial Court. What was this, some baggy... I want to say pants, but I think it's a skirt? Yeah, it's a skirt. Looks comfortable, though. I don't know about the, like, the thing on the shoulders, whatever the hell that's supposed to be. Might be a little bit too tight for my fat ass. Anyways! What were we doing? Oh yeah, Phoenix Wright! It was, uh, ripped off that? Yeah, sure. And the defendant's fingerprints were all over the knife! It was a gold knife? The defendant was brought, uh, the defendant brought the knife for the crime, which makes the Supreme Editor murder! 
So the defendant's fingerprints were found on the knife used in the stabbing. Oh, a fancy knife. It was sort of sticky on the handle, so the fingerprints came out pretty clearly, sir. And there's a button. That was found in the defendant's clothes, was it? Hmm. Is this the button also covered in blood? Is this button also covered in blood? It looks like it. Yeah, and we know that the blood is that of the victim, sir. What? <laughs> I mean, it's not that surprising, man. So he stabbed him with a knife and I guess the button fell off or something? I guess that would make sense. I don't know, the photo... Where's the photo? Here? Yeah. Oh well, yeah, I guess. I was gonna say that isn't the knife like in the middle of the button area, but no, I guess it's like right on the outside, so I guess you stab him with that and then the button plops off. I'm assuming the the kidnapper dude is probably the real killer here. Um But I is he trying to frame Adrian? Or is he trying because That's kind of weird, right? We found a seashell card, both with Maya and on Adrian. I don't know. I guess we'll just keep going, yeah. I'm assuming he's the real killer, though. It'd be kind of weird if he wasn't, I guess, at this point. Uh, all of this points very clearly to the defendant, doesn't it? Yes, it most certainly does, Your Honor. Ready to give it a uh, given yet right? Ha! I'll find that hole in your argument somehow. You can press as hard as you'd like. Just hurry up with your usual pointless questions. Grrr! God, my usual point pointless questions usually finds a murderer, so I don't know what you're talking about. But in terms of popularity, Mr. Engard won, didn't he? Yeah! But you know what's ironic, pal? Juan Carita was was always one step ahead of behind Mr. Uh, in guard and everything. This year it seemed like he'd finally caught up, ready for a big final showdown. But Mr. Carita lost the Grand Prix in the end. That is too bad. He must have been pretty downhearted after losing. <laughs> and then he died. Wait just one second here. Mr. In guard was beating Mr. Carita in the popularity polls. Well, yeah, I guess, but. Which means that, in the defendant's eyes, the victim was not a rival at all. Which means he had no motive to kill him at all. Hmm, yes, I quite agree. Well, detective? Huh, it's not? Well, I guess if you put it that way, then yeah, the defendant would have had no motive. Objection. Detective, I'm beginning to see why you were fired. <laughs> ah, no, 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 not, not you do, Miss Edwards, sorry! Sir, That that's... I look forward to your pension negotiations. He's fired! <laughs> no, his pension though, yeah. Dude. No, 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 no! Now, now, detective. Let's continue with the testimony. No, 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 my, my poor pension too! Detective, if you value money, I suggest you proceed. Yes, sir! We can talk about my pension later, sir! Um, what about what I, what about what I was saying? Hello, anyone? Do you have any proof that the button belonged to the victim? What? It clearly came up. What? Huh? What do you mean, pal? Oh, uh, let me put it this way. I'm asking you if you have any evidence to back up your claim that this button was ripped off the Jammin' Ninja costume. Huh? But can't you tell just by looking at it? And the victim's blood is on it. Anyone could have smeared that blood on there afterwards. Miss Edward, help, help, sir! All right, I knew it had to be this piece of evidence. Now the reel this one in. Thread. Huh? The button was attached to the costume by thread, obviously. And that thread snapped when the button was torn off. If you, if you match up the ends of the thread on the costume with the thread on the button, it's a perfect match. Yeah, that's it! They're a perfect match, pal! Ugh. That Edgeworth, that's Edgeworth for you. Never misses a beat. I mean, it'd be kind of pretty poor evidence if you couldn't confirm it. 
When was this button found? Pretty soon after the body was found, we rounded up everyone who knew Mr. Corita. And then we did a search on all of them. That's when we found the button. Hmm. So it was almost immediately after the murder. But at least they didn't have the free time to lollygag and play tricks, unlike some people. Hey, what are you trying to say about me here? We don't play tricks. We're actually the only ones here that don't play tricks, which kind of irritates me. Defend his ring, Prince Royal. Yeah, uh, no, go back, go back. How were the fingerprints arranged on the knife? Huh? What do you mean, pal? By examining the fingerprints, you can determine how the defendant held the knife. For example, did he hold it normally or overhead? Oh, if that is that what is that what you mean? Well, actually, we actually didn't think about it, of that. I can't believe that bumbling of this de department. Hopeless. Were you paying attention to the testimony, right? The defendant's fingerprints were all over the knife. There's no way to determine how the knife was held at this moment of the murder. Hmm. Is, so is the defendant the owner of this knife, then? There's no way there was a, this was a premeditated murder, even if he brought a knife. Sorry, pal! This isn't some kind of pocket knife! It doesn't fold, so it's not great for walking around with, either! Ugh, well, this is not good. If the prosecutors can prove that it, it was premeditated murder, we're done for. Phoenix! Yeah? There's something very interesting about what the detective just said now. Think carefully before it's too late. A button covered in victim's blood, a knife with in guard's fingerprints. Be careful, or be grateful. If the judge were more rash, he would have already pounded his gavel in closing. I'm still in the world of trouble. Well, before any battle, you must find your enemy's weakness. So let's find the weakness in this testimony, no matter how small it may be, okay, Phoenix? Oh, was that? Okay, so I gotta prevent, uh, present, like, a contradiction? Oh. Okay. Interesting. Um... Oh, oh, okay. I'm actually dumb. I've been reading that as brought, not bought. He bought the knife, which is a contradiction because this knife is engraved with gate water. Okay, so we, we're going to present this one. That's going to be next time. Thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all then.